All right. Law of segregation had this question come up in my class, so I wanted to just do a quick video on it so that everybody was on the same page. Um, so the law of segregation. Obviously, you first need to think about what it means to be segregated from people or segregated at all. It means to be separated, to segregate. So when we look at meiosis, we start off with a cell, okay? And I'm not going to go through the processes of meiosis one, but obviously after meiosis one occurs, you have two cells, okay? And I'm going to put I'm going to put M1 here for representing meiosis one, the process, and then we're going to go through meiosis two to form the gametes, okay? Very important to know gametes, meiosis two. Of course, that gives us f four haploid gametes. So what is the law of segregation? Well, it's that separating out, the separating. So let's look here. So here we are, we're starting off with that one cell. We have one chromosome there, and we have another one here. Now remember that when we first start off, we have to double the DNA before it splits. So there's another one, and... There's another one. All right, so now it's doubled. Now we can separate out the DNA. So let's say one chromosome goes here, one goes here. And then let me get my the red out. And then one chromosome goes here, one chromosome goes here. And then after that, it separates out more. And one chromosome goes here, and one chromosome goes here. And then one chromosome here, and one chromosome there. Now you can see here how these chromosomes are segregated. Segregated mean they're separated out. So you see how they have separated out from the beginning? And so that's all that it is, is, is segregation of chromosomes into the gametes. And that is all the law of segregation is. I hope this was helpful.